right guys, so today we are taking it way, way back. If you grew up in the 2000s like I did, or better reference, 2004 to about 2008, then you would remember the MySpace days. I'm talking about the top A where you would have all of your best friends on your top A and when you were mad at your friend, you would take her off of your top A. You know you were guilty of it. Something that was really popular was the surveys. I remember I was all about the freaking surveys when I was on MySpace. Um, so for today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to answer or like to do one of those MySpace surveys because I never actually really seen anybody do it. But then when I searched it, I saw all these videos and I was like, shoot, I'm over here trying to be original and it's already been done. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and answer some questions and let's get into the video. All right, so question number one. One of your stuffed animals names as a kid. I don't remember ever naming my stuffed animals, but I actually had a stuffed animal that was in the shape of Patrick Star from, no. Yeah, Patrick Star. <laughs> I was like, wait, Patrick Star? No, uh, from SpongeBob. And I still have it to this day. Um, so question number two. Favorite Sunday topping? Obviously, it's the nuts, guys. I mean, come on. The nuts and the whipped cream, my favorite. What decade would you have chosen to be a teen? I would want to be a teen in the 80s because I feel like it's just like, I feel like it, it just looks so cool. Like, there wasn't like really technology. Like, people were actually like social, like, people actually socialized. And nowadays, it's like, you're like at a place but you're on your phone trying to see what other people are doing or you know so in the 80s have you ever thrown up at work what? who makes these questions um i've never thrown up at work but back in my crazy party days before i even turned 21 i used to work at subway and i used to show up to work hungover all the time yeah don't judge me we've all been there okay what alcoholic drink did you drink for your first time? When I was like 12, my dad never gave a crap. We used to watch R-rated movies and stuff. So I remember that for a party, he made mudslides, um, those like TGI Fridays mudslides, and he gave us some. So I'm gonna go with mudslides. Who was your second grade teacher? Hmm. When I was in second grade, I literally had the worst freaking teacher of life. Her name was Mrs. Soria. To this day, I still hate her. She was terrible to me. For some reason, she just singled me out out of all the kids in the class and she just treated me like crap. And she was very mean to me. She always like thought it was funny to like get mad at me in front of the whole class. like. She was really freaking mean. So if I can go back in time, I would have slapped the <laughs> Moving on. First concert you attended. Oh, I think like the first actual concert was back in high school, like when we were all in like our punk days. Um, we went to this concert called British Invasion, which is like a huge concert with like a ton of bands that play there. And it was really, really fun. All of my friends were there. And then like a riot broke out and like, the cops tear gassed us and like we were on the news there was helicopters people were vandalizing the surrounding neighborhoods like it was crazy i never been so scared in my life like it was nuts so british invasion 2006 did you ever swallow a coin never swallowed a coin but i remember or i don't remember but apparently as a kid my mom said i swallowed a green crayon and i threw up green Pretty much. Have you ever operated a fire extinguisher? I have never, but I'm scared to death of one. At work, we have like seven in the same perimeter. Like there's a ton of fire extinguishers and I'm always worried that I'm gonna knock one over and it's just gonna like <sighs> everywhere. So the answer is no, I have never. Do you, do you have a really crazy relative? Um, like no offense to anybody, but my aunts or like my family on my dad's side they're very fun like whenever we have parties they like to dance and they like to drink and they like to do karaoke and sing and they go crazy so pretty much my whole dad's side they're all very fun um have you ever used a pogo stick that's a really random question but yes i have 
Um, who was the most creative bum you've ever met? Oh my god, you guys. Most creative bum I've ever met. When I was in high school, um, and any of you guys that watch my channel that we went to high school together, you guys will remember Indio. Indio was the bum they hung out across the street by Nogales Burgers, behind Nogales Burgers. And he used to buy us alcohol. And I apologize if like, no, I'm not gonna apologize, honestly. This is my channel, I'm just being real. Okay, we had our party days. He used to buy us alcohol when we were very young. Um, and he was just like, cool. Like, we would just give him some money, he would buy us alcohol, we'd give him, keep, let him keep the change, and we would have fun with our friends. So, Indio, shout out to Indio. Have you ever used someone else's toothbrush? I accidentally used Cesar's toothbrush one time because I forgot, I used to always use the green toothbrush. Like, I liked the green one and he had like the blue one or something. So when we got new toothbrushes, I gave him the green one and I forgot. So I picked it up and I used it and then I was like... <laughs> um, best toy you've gotten in a Happy Meal? Sure as hell is not Furby toys, okay? Those were the devil's toys. Do, or would you prefer a million dollars or true love? I feel like I found my true love, Cesar. He is amazing and I feel like I've hit the I feel like I hit the freaking jackpot. Like all I need is Cesar and Harmony and I feel like the wealthiest woman in the world. Um so yeah, true love. And last but not least, do you throw up gang signs? First of all, I don't throw up gang signs, um, but when we were in high school, we thought we were like so cool and like we've created our like, or like I was a part of like this like, I wouldn't call it a gang because like nobody did anything dangerous, but you know, we were all, we would all take pictures from MySpace throwing up our signs and like we thought we were cool and I think one of them was going like this and it stood for 2K. <laughs> Which was so, it was so stupid. Like looking back now, I'm just like, I would have gave myself, I would have slapped myself. But we used to go like this in our pictures. Or I remember we used to do like this other sign where we would go like this in our pictures. And, or like, I think it was like this. And if you remember, I don't, I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, but yeah, that is it for all of these questions. Now, I really, they were all really random because I kind of just went through all of these random posts. Um, on the internet and I chose out the most random ones so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy this video just keep scrolling okay it takes so much more effort I feel like to be a mean person than it does to be a nice person and I've been getting a lot of negative comments on my channel lately so I just want to say you got go for a walk Go for a bike ride, go to the library. Like, there's better things to do than to leave negative comments on my channel, you guys. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.